So if you've been hanging around my channel long, there's a pretty good chance you have downloaded one of my free presets. Uh, if you haven't, uh, click around my channel. I give away lots of free stuff. You might like some of it. Uh, but I have noticed a uh, little uptick recently with more people having trouble installing those presets. And I know exactly why. And we're gonna talk about that in this video, but more specifically, we are going to talk through the different ways to install presets and templates for DaVinci Resolve as it stands now. This is August, 2021, we're in Resolve 17.2. And that's important because we are gonna run into some issues that we are going to address that I wouldn't be surprised at all if these get patched out really quickly and we're back to uh, what might be considered normal. A little bit of a backstory. In 17.2, Resolve came out with a new file format for presets and templates and all of that. This is the DRFX file. This is really just a uh, renamed zip file, but Resolve recognizes it in a certain way. And it is by far uh, the easiest way to install any preset or template, but it also brings some added functionality. You can now include source material in any of those presets. If you bundle a PNG uh, in that DRFX, uh, Resolve can recognize that and bring that in automatically. This was much harder beforehand. And it also allows you to create custom thumbnails for all of your effects that will show up in the edit page in the effects library. Now, when Resolve did this, they consolidated all of the included free titles and templates and transitions and all of that into one of their own DRFX files. And this replaced the entire folder structure that all of these had been sitting in previously. And crucially, this also deleted a few folders that are necessary if you want to install presets in any way that isn't through a DRFX file. And this is kind of confusing and, and why I believe this will be addressed soon is because there are things in Resolve that still point to those folders, but the folders aren't there. So Resolve gets a little confused. And this also took me a little bit to find out because if you are just upgrading Resolve from a previous version before 17.2 and you already had some of your own presets or third party presets in those folders, they stuck around and some of the ways to install them kept working, but anyone who is new to Resolve or new to presets uh, couldn't install presets the same way that I was trying to show people. So let's jump into Resolve and uh, I'll show you what's up and I'll show you what we're gonna do about it. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I have opened up right to the Fusion page. Now if I open up the effects library and I come down here to templates, I open that up to edit. I have these main categories that correspond to the different kinds of presets and templates that we have access to on the edit page. And if I were to go to effects, I would come up to these three dots over here and I have an option to show folder. If I click that, it will open up this folder where I have my custom effects. Now, if you are on a new install of 17.2 and you've never used this before, this won't work for you. I tried it on a lighter weight laptop that I would never edit on, but just to run Resolve to see what happened. When I tried this, it just opened up a new Windows Explorer tab to the default page. It didn't go anywhere. It was trying to find this folder, but because this root effects folder didn't exist, it just opened up a blank explorer. It didn't know what to do. If you're following along, that might be happening to you right now. Here's what you can do. I'm gonna X out of this and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna select this edit, uh, just one layer up. All of those folders are in this main edit folder and I have these same controls here to show folder. And if I click that, you see here, I have those folders, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. Even if you're on a fresh install of 17.2, this folder is still here. And if you believe you will ever be working with dot setting files, those are fusion macros, whether ones you create yourself or get from someone else, and you need to install those, then what you really need to do is manually just create these four folders. Make sure to name them exactly, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. And I tested this. And if you manually create these folders here, Resolve will recognize them. And then at that point, if you X out and go to any of these things, like back to generators, you can click these dots and click show folder, it will open up that generators folder. And if you have a dot setting file, you can drag it right into here and it will show up correctly in the edit page. Alternatively, one method that I have talked about before um, that I do recommend, but I think for some people, maybe some Mac users, it's a little hit or miss. If you have a dot setting file you want to install, you can pull that up 
up wherever it is and just drag it into this UI overlay. And it might think for a while, it will repopulate that list and then your setting should be installed and you might need to restart resolve. That is also currently a little hit or miss. But if you are working with a dot setting file, that macro out of Fusion, that is two ways to install it. You can try this drag and drop method. If not, go to the folder that it needs to be recognized. Click these three dots click show folder after you have manually created those four folders, it should link perfectly, drag it in here, it'll be recognized. And again, I believe you should only need to create those folders if you have upgraded to 17.2 when DRFX files were installed. If you're still on an earlier version of 17 or even earlier, then either of these methods should be fine for you to install those presets. Now, I want to address one use case real quick. I highly recommend you upgrade to Resolve 17.2, in large part because of these DRFX files. They're super cool. But if for whatever reason you want to stay on earlier 17 or even 16, and someone gives you a DRFX file and it is a preset that still technically works with an earlier version, here's what you need to do. You can't just drag and drop that DRFX file. It won't be recognized. I have a whole bunch of DRFX files here. These are all of my presets that I am upgrading to DRFX and say I wanted to install my proto plugin in one of those earlier versions of Resolve. This DRFX file is really just a renamed zip folder. So I can go to that and if I actually just change this DRFX suffix to zip to recognize it as zip folder, I'll click yes, I want to do that. It will recognize that as a normal zip folder and I can click that, come over to compressed folder tools, extract all, choose that location, It'll copy that folder, open it up, and these DRFX files do recreate this folder structure you can, so you can open up Edit, Generators, I have that proto plugin setting. And once I have this, I could use either of the two methods I talked about previously. I could just drag and drop here or go to these buttons, Show Folder, and just drag this in here to install. But for now, I'm just going to rename this proto back to DRFX file, you'll see that, awesome. By the way, if you don't see that DRFX or zip file, you need to come over to view and just check file name extension. That'll let you see it, that'll let you change it. And finally, of course, we have DRFX files. By far the easiest and most powerful way to install all of these presets and templates. Here, I'm just gonna grab uh, this one that I made for two of my bonus presets. I'm gonna drag that and you just drop this on the node viewer in Fusion. It'll give you this pop-up, do you want to install? Click install and nothing will happen. You might see a little update over here. That means it works. If you do get an error, most often that means you just need to restart resolve and it was just a little fluke. If it doesn't work again, then you might need to look into new issues. And I can scale up here and see this master countdown option. And currently in this build of resolve as well, these will show up on the fusion page as an edit title, but to get them on the edit page, you do need to restart resolve. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, I've restarted. I'm gonna jump to the edit page. And if I come to titles, scroll down, you will see this master countdown option. And you'll also see that I have given it a little custom thumbnail as well. I'm gonna drag that to my edit page. And real quick, just the way this works, this is a really cool preset. You see that by default, because it comes in as a clip that is five seconds long, this is just a five second countdown. Awesome, but this is really cool because if I just extend this clip, it looks at the length of that clip and it becomes that long of a countdown. Any composition, any frame rate, that is a change that I just came across in repackaging these up. Uh, special thanks to Simon Stanfield, friend of the channel, for helping me with some of the expression work for that. This is super cool. If you ever need anything with a countdown, Drop it on this timeline, stretch it out to the length of your countdown and you're good to go. But that's all I've really got. Just showing you the current state of what it takes to install presets and templates inside DaVinci Resolve. Another reason I'm coming out with this video now is as I showed off, I am upgrading all of my past presets to DRFX files. So you won't need to mess with folder structure or opening up any files. Just drag any of those to the node viewer in the Fusion page and it should install just like this. I've already done some other cool things like this, like my 101 social promo preset. I'm really excited for what uh, Blackmagic is doing with all of these. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.